Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be taking you as I declutter an area in our kitchen. So the area that I'm going to be decluttering is the cabinet that I'm sitting in front of here as I sit on the floor. It is the cupboard that I was originally housing all of our packing supplies for school. So the lunch bags, any um, Tupperware containers we will use for packing, thermoses, water bottles. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be decluttering with you and I thought I would take you on this journey with me. I am in the process of trying to get everything back in order or into an order that works for me and my family. I'm sitting in front of the cabinet I'm going to be decluttering today, which is our, I guess, lunch packing station. It's where the thermoses, the water bottles, the Tupperware containers that I send to school with the kids, our lunch bags. I have one as well because when I am working, I do bring a lunch and I just, I need to get it back into working order. It ended up being the cabinet that everything was just thrown into, extra things, and um, yeah, I just need to get it back in order. So I thought I would take you along um, on this journey. So I'm gonna open up the cabinet and give you a look at the before, and then take you along as I clear out and organize this cabinet in my kitchen. So I hope you continue to watch, and if you do like decluttering videos, please consider hitting that red subscribe button down below. I will be having a lot more decluttering and organizational videos in the future, and keep your eyes peeled for another video that I will have. And if you haven't already watched my video on the new changes for my channel, please consider going back and watching that. And there I will explain uh, the focus and the direction that our channel will be going into for 2018. So without further ado, I am going to show you what my cabinet looks like on the inside and start decluttering and organizing. So here it is, I'm going in. It is a mess. See? It's just everything is thrown in. I have extra supplies here. So we have the, um, these should be under the sink, an extra bottle of water in case we lose power ever. We like to have that on hand. Cups, which belong down in the party supply section. A large thing of stuffing, which would be in the pantry. We just have bits and bobs and different things. So ideally, I want the top section just to be lunch packing supplies. And then on the bottom section, I will have um, the extra food supplies that do not fit into the pantry that we have.
with this cabinet and as you can see I changed the complete look and organization than what I was going for originally I had thought that I wanted to keep it our lunch packing supplies but the more I thought about it the more it just simply didn't make sense to where I prepare the lunches it's in the complete opposite direction of the room so I decided to use it as our kind of Costco cupboard the overflow of things that we need space for so as you can tell we don't have Costco anywhere near us so we go about four times a year and when we do go we do buy like goldfish and juice boxes and things like that and this is just the extra so down on the bottom I have one box like there's one pack in that goldfish box left uh, I normally like to keep out goldfish in a, a clear container and I just get it from there but um, that's the overflow of goldfish and then the dishwasher tabs that is relatively large and we have two large ones underneath the sink already so I had to leave that there so that's kind of what's like sparked this whole th decision was I do need space for these other items so over there in the corner is juice boxes that's our water like I mentioned an extra parchment and a large coffee for when we use our separate coffee maker which is not that often but we do use it for birthdays um, popcorn plastic cups and straws these are soup bowls we don't use them too often so they're just kind of there I could actually move those over with our Tupperware our glass Tupperware in that container is just extra napkins the stuffing and a pancake mix so this cabinet is looking fantastic I think it is empty and I am loving what I did with it if you want to see where I decided to store my lunch packing supplies, stay tuned for the next organizational video where I will show you my new lunch packing cabinet space. So until next time, I want to thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you are enjoying this content, please consider hitting that red subscribe button down below. It will mean so much for, to me if you join my YouTube family. I am going to do my best to stick to the schedule this year and post two times a week lots of organizational videos decluttering and um, family related content so please stay tuned and until next time i hope you have you have a wonderful day and as always take care now